Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-August 2022 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aries. This will not resonate with every Aries that watches this message. And because this reading is general, not every single message may be for you. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Aries, I highly suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in Aries. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Aries and cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Aries, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy, so if you are listening to this using headphones or the volume's kind of loud right now, I do suggest turning it down a little bit just for this part because I don't want your ears to hurt. So let's get this started. All right, so let's see what's happening for my Aries now until the end of August in love and romance. What is surrounding Aries in love and romance? What energy is surrounding Aries particularly in love and romance here? And what do they need to know about their love life? Let's dive into it. Tell us about it, spirit. Calling your soulmate. And it says your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So there is someone manifesting someone here. I feel this is someone you've met, you know, someone that is really hoping things will work out between the two of you. Or maybe this is your energy, Aries. I feel that there is others of you. If you haven't met this person, there's someone that's manifesting a soulmate here who wants new love in their life to replace what they felt disappointed by, betrayed by, hurt by. But I got to say, a lot of you, I, I don't know. I feel this is someone around you that is hoping you'll come back, that is hoping that you guys will reconcile, that is hoping you'll send that message out, that you guys will meet again, see each other again. Um, and someone's putting a lot of their energy your way, Aries. I feel you've been picking up on this person's energy a lot lately. Um, you've been thinking about them a lot more recently. You've been seeing certain synchronicities or confirmations about them, their name everywhere, their birth date. I feel it's because they're trying to pull you in, Aries. They're trying to make this energetic cord that is existing very strong between the two of you still locked down. Um, let's get some more messages here to kind of pinpoint this. Tell me more about this energy here that's surrounding Aries. What is this spirit? It's complicated. Wow. Yeah. So I feel like your feelings about this person is very complicated. The situation that surrounds your romantic life right now is complicated. I don't know. It's as if someone's just trying to reel you back in Aries, but you don't know if it's best for you. You don't know if it's right for you. The desire for each other may be very, very strong, but maybe you know it's not what's good for you. Um, but man, are they still trying? They're still hoping. They're still praying for you to still be in their lives. And if you have walked away, if you have ended things, or even if they ended it with you, if they did end things with you, they're regretting it. They're kind of feel a little bit ashamed and embarrassed that they were the ones to walk away from something that was so strong between the two of you. And maybe that's why they're kind of manifesting you to reach out first. But the situation is definitely complicated. And I feel for the, you guys that are feeling this person's energy and trying to figure it out. You're trying to decide what's best for you. And if this person has come back in your life, you're trying to figure out if you should re-engage again, if it's worth engaging again. Um, so let's let's get into this. 
let's see what the tarot has to say. Tell me more about this energy. Yeah, Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. It's complicated. Someone just doesn't know what to do. Someone's not consistent. Someone is flaky. Someone wants it all one moment, but then the next they back out or they ghost or they just don't show their dedication and care. But also I kind of feel someone doesn't know what to do with the circumstance right now. Someone doesn't know if they should, again, like put more action and effort into it or if they should drop it completely. I'm going to put all the cards out first and I'll show them to you, Aries. Mm -hmm. Wow. All right, Aries. So bottom of the deck, we have judgment. Wow. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There is something from the past coming back up with judgment. It, it is always that second chance energy. It's always that re-examination. It's always, sometimes something is placed back into your life so you can make the final choice for sure because what happens with these lessons and with these cycles we find ourselves in, when we do do the healing, when we do accept the circumstances, when we are about to cross that threshold into going into the world card, which judgment is the card right before the world, right? Spirit throws us one final chance or one final test that kind of asks us if we're really really ready to leave the past behind or if we're really certain about the choice we're about to make for ourselves. I feel that someone here still thinks there's great purpose between the two of you, that what is meant to unfold still yet is going to unfold. They're very stubborn about this. Even if they were the ones to make the wrong choice, I feel... I feel a lot of you was ghosting you or just leaving you without closure, without explanation, without a reason really for a lot of you. You just didn't get why. Um, I feel with this judgment call, they know they made the wrong choice. And it could be complicated too because someone may have entered a new relationship since you guys last spoken or have been engaging in a new connection. And if that's them, they're not happy with the new connection they're in. They're not happy with the newer person. Maybe even Aries, they decided to chase this person because they thought the grass was greener on the other side. Little did they find out it was dusty, dry, and barren and had nothing productive and nothing that would equate to what you've given them. They're kind of seeing there was nothing that compared to you, Aries. Isn't that interesting? Once you kind of walk away, once you kind of pull back, once you kind of think that, something isn't meant for you, it hits you hard with the realization that you just messed up something that could have been everything that could have been the one for you. But with judgment here, yeah, they're, they're deciding in this moment now, Aries, that they're going to take their shot with you to try to get this rehealed between the two of you. But with everything that's been happening or everything that has happened, you guys are struggling to see if that is going to actually be the case. Like, you don't want to be carried away with the illusions you did before, the fantasies you did before. I see that with the Queen of Swords crossing this, which we'll get to in a second. But yeah, for some of you, we're going to narrow it down and pin it down. But Spirit has had a purpose for this person to come back into your life or for this person's energy to still linger. I do feel in some way there's unresolved business. Now, whether that is something that you decide to build with this person again, or if spirit is saying, is this the time to put the final nail in the coffin? But I do feel, Aries, the choice is yours. And that has not been in your situation, or you felt like that hasn't been in your situation throughout this entire connection. You always felt a pull to this person, but you didn't feel they ever pulled back. They ever met you halfway. They ever wanted to take this to a level. But I think this time around, the tables have turned. And I think this time around where they're going to be asking, offering, begging, or even just their energy that is still so directed towards you is going to kind of make you feel like you should 
act on this. Um, Spirit wants you to know, Aries, the ball will be placed in your court to decide if you want anything to do this or not. You really do have the upper hand. Now, some of you could be connected too because you may have a child with this person, I feel as well. And that bond through having that child will always be strong, will always be there energetically, but also because, yeah, you have to co-parent, right? So spirit is going to say here, is trying to say here, what is your final decision by the end of the month, Aries? It's time to decide. And if those of you are like, well, I'm waiting on their decision, why are you waiting on that? I mean, I think you have more power than you realize in this. And you shouldn't place that all in their hands. Anyway, let's get into it. Situation, the center of this all is the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah, again, someone doesn't know what to do here, especially if they come back, especially if they return. Someone doesn't know if they can trust this person, if they can rely on this person, if they'll really be there, if they're only acting out of their impulses now, but will dip in the next second. Um, but I also feel, Aries, I don't know, through some of the healing that you've done, the growth that you've done, I feel like a lot of you are starting to see where there was misalignment between the two of you that you didn't really see before. I feel like someone, um, I don't know, looks different now. I don't know if they changed their hair or if they gained or lost weight since the time since you've last seen each other. Um, but they, someone, I don't know, again, it could just be energetically, it feels differently. You just see the situation differently than you did before. And I think with this two of pentacles, you have to put if you're in that process of making this decision, you have to put the whole experience on two different sides. One side that made you feel love, that made you feel passion, that made you feel joy, excitement. And the other side where it made you feel sad, it made you feel abandoned, neglected, discarded. And take the whole experience or every experience you've had with this person and put it on those two scales. And I think that's going to help you see which way you should go in this. If more of this connection gives you anxiety, stress, fear, sadness, no, don't proceed with it. But if overall the experience has been exciting, has been coming from a place of love, then maybe it's worth giving it another chance. It's different for each and every one of you. It's a general reading. We're going to get deeper into it. But again, I really do feel Aries. Spirit wants you to decide what you want out of this situation or if what you've gotten was already enough for you to decide what to do with it. I'm smelling like incense. I wonder if someone's just lit an incense or uh, someone has incense in their room, their bedroom, or a candle that is very aromatic that they have on their nightstand. Um, just confirmations for someone out there. And for if this is on their end, their energy, yeah, they're struggling big time, especially if they're the ones to sabotage this connection, especially if they're the ones to ghost you to walk out of your life. They know they messed up. They know that it's going to be difficult to get you to open up, to get you in a place of security with them again, a place of trust with them again. And so they've been struggling on how to approach you. They're hoping that through their manifestations that you'll be the one to approach, but they kind of know that's not really the reality here if they were the ones to sabotage it. But yeah, they just wonder if it's worth it if you are just going to reject them the way they rejected you. The letter E is coming out very strongly. Um, as in Eric, as in... Emma, first, middle, last, initial, can mean something to someone. What's crossing this is the Queen of Swords. Libra energy. Yeah, defensiveness, protection. Um, seeing through the illusions, the romantic visions we kind of have when we do have strong feelings for someone and looking at it in an objective, logical way despite the feelings that may still exist, despite what someone hoped would happen or change, what have you seen in evidence? 
And I really do feel this Queen of Swords energy is your energy, Aries, regardless of gender or sex. We all have masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. And this is a feminine air energy. One that is protective of themselves. One that does not want to believe lies and deceit to make someone feel better about the situation. Someone who has boundaries. Someone who has put their guard up. Because they've made that choice or they see the situation as being defensive, they have to be to protect themselves. And they do find you intimidating right now, Aries. They do know that if they were to approach you and come back in your life, that you would be pretty short, pretty blunt. And maybe, you know, a few months back, they did try to come back in and you were not very receptive. You were not very um, engaging with conversation if you even replied at all to them. But with the Queen of Swords, you know, it... it it hurts them that they have to do this. I do feel the Queen of Swords is an energy that's been through a lot in love and romance, has been hurt deeply. And instead of just trying to be hopeful and trying to let their emotions run wild and run free and to trust that again, they're trusting their logic over this situation. And I think you know, whoever has hurt you, Aries, on the other end is very well aware that they hurt you. And I think they're not ready to have that conversation yet, even though if they ever want a chance, they know they have to have it. What's crowning this is the Five of Pentacles. Taurus energy. Yeah, a feeling of lack. So again, if they moved on to someone else, there's a lot of lack in it. It did not provide in the connection the way you provided. They don't feel like, I don't know, this person again, they just have this issue or problem with thinking something's better elsewhere. They're never happy with their situation. They always, you know, find faults with the person they're with and the romantic connection they're with. They don't ever think anything's enough, really. And that's an insecurity, Aries, that had nothing to do with what you did or did not provide. That has to do with what they don't feel they have enough within themselves. And if you don't feel like you're enough within yourself, how are you going to see that outside of you? As above, so below. As within, so without. Um, others of you, this does indicate that, you know, this person is a ghoster. This person is someone who does not provide who doesn't back up their talk with their actions, with their consistency, with their authenticity. But with the Five of Pentacles too, they really are missing you right now. There's a song that they play that they think of you. I don't know if it was a song you shared them or shared with them or showed to them. Maybe it's even with someone's ringtone. But yeah, it's right now they're in this lack of happiness, what they feel without you, with you not being in their life. I'm seeing the scene of someone kissing the other person up against a wall that they still think about or you still think about. Maybe it was like the entrance of someone's doorway. But yeah, there's right now someone sees also it could be that you may see that there's not much more that you can get out of this. And you know that. You see that. They haven't provided enough. So would that actually change in reality? That's what some of you are struggling with, with this person's return or with this person coming back or with this person who's sending their energy out to you. You're trying to ignore it. You're trying to avoid it because you know it's not going to be fruitful. It's not going to give you anything. It's just even going to take. What's reading this is the Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. So with the Eight of Wands, I could always say that you guys met through online dating apps, social media. Um, you guys could be at a distance from one another right now, a few hours away, different states, different countries, maybe even for others of you. Um, 
But with the eight of wands, yeah, I really do feel if you haven't made the effort to re-engage this, if you have been kind of pulling away from this, I do feel they have no other choice but to try to get at this again. And I do feel they're going to send you a message, a text message, a phone call, a DM, wanting to talk with you, wanting to re-spark that chemistry and that passion between the two of you. Um, if you did send nudes, they kept them and they look at them a lot, just saying. Um, but with this Eight of Wands, they want the passion to be re-sparked. And again, with the Eight of Wands too, you, you are feeling their energy, for sure. More so now than you have been the last few weeks, the last few months. And this reading may confirm that, you know, what you've been seeing or what you've been feeling or what has been sent your way is because they've been aggressively sending their energy to you, Aries. But they want to come out of this time out with you, out of this, you know, rock bottom with you and outgrow it, outgrow the situation, leave the past behind. But can you really leave the past behind? How can you expect someone to sweep everything out of the rug and to trust again? And to just go for it impulsively. And this person probably was very impulsive. Which, you know, they is the problem as to why they're not reliable. They're not consistent. Why they're always on to the next shiny thing or the next thing that catches their eye or intention. Have they really changed that? Your energy in this situation, Aries, is the king of cups. Scorpio energy. So, you know, you've been working towards your emotional stability. I feel with this person, there's a lot of emotions that come out. Just thinking about them, thinking about the situation. And I feel that in general, you're a pretty grounded emotionally per emotional person. You don't get emotional over a lot of things. You stay relatively calm and at ease. But with this person, it stirs up a lot. And I feel with this King of Cups card, you're looking for someone that is more emotionally available. And there has been evidence and proof that this person who's coming through in your reading didn't provide that. And also, maybe you guys were the ones to move on to another connection or another interest. That is providing you with the emotional care and stability that this person didn't. And they found out about it. I don't know if it was through a post you made on social media or, you know, they heard through word of mouth that you are starting to develop feelings for someone else or that you're starting to move on to someone else for some of you. And that's what's making them in this flurry of desperation of trying to reconnect or send that opportunity or manifest that opportunity with you Aries to reconnect and to reconcile because they're afraid you really are going to move on and once you find that person that will fulfill you emotionally will give you everything you want that will make you feel appreciated feel cherished feel adored they won't have a chance someone could have a beard or has grown a beard since you last saw them I'm picking up on Maybe you did, I don't know. But with this King of Cups energy, yeah, you are at a place of emotional peace. And just to think of this person coming back in, may you're worried if it's going to throw your emotional peace off. The What you've grown to heal, what you've grown to accept. But you're open to love, but you're not sure if you're open to love with this particular person. And even for some of you, you know, j just seeing this person come back or seeing their message, there's a part of your heart that is going to be pulled towards them. The hope's coming back, but then the Queen of Swords comes in and says, hold up. Let's be real here. Right? Their energy in this is the Empress. Taurus energy, Libra energy, Venus energy. So, you know, for some of you, you do recognize that this person is very physically attractive. Um, probably one of the cutest or prettiest or hottest people you've ever had a connection with. 
Something about their eyes, particularly. I wonder if someone has hazel eyes. You or them, I don't know. But they want stability here. They want their harvest. They want you, Aries. Maybe you're the empress in their eyes. You're everything that they want. You're the thing they feel will fulfill them. That will provide them with everything they need emotionally, physically, um, spiritually. Now, others of you, is it complicated because they've gotten someone else pregnant or they're pregnant? Maybe they found out they're pregnant with your child or you're finding that out. I don't know. Again, that could just mean you have kids with this person and they're using that angle to work this connection here with you. But for most of you with this empress, they're looking to have their harvest with you. They're looking for their manifestation to have you back in their life, what they view you as to be a soulmate to come to fruition. And again, like, I don't think they'll ever really give this up with you, Aries. Even if you do reject it, even if you do cut it out, like, I still feel like they'll always have that hope for you. You have this attraction and this appeal that's hard to ignore. And maybe you found that for them for some time, but I think you're better at discerning. I think you're better at protecting yourself from it. And maybe they'll soon define what their charm and their um, tactics before that was so easily seduced and so easily seducted by or is not going to be as strong this time around. But they're looking for their harvest. They're looking for their chance. They're looking for their happiness and fulfillment with you. But are they worth it? That's what a lot of you are trying to figure out. All right, Aries, to see the likely outcome of this situation, what's likely to happen and unfold in the near future, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you what's likely to unfold in the near future for this connection between the two of you and for yourself, more importantly. And I'm also going to pull some Oracle cards as well to dive deeper into this situation. So with whatever happens, you'll make the best choice for yourself. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Aries, I really hope that this reading has provided you with confirmation, with clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to what's happening in your love life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aries, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Aries.